So, uh, in this next step, we actually uh, would like to explain, or I would like to explain how to uh, actually generate a proper robot. So, up to now, we still don't have a robot, we have almost all elements we need. Uh, if, if you click on play, it will still uh, have a weird behavior, it's not a robot, it's, it's falling apart. And the reason is that we still need to do one more step, which is to generate or uh, uh, configure the proper hierarchy in order that uh, all uh, components uh, uh, don't fall apart, okay, and they are related one uh, to each other. So, in this particular robot, this is the main component, okay, this is the one I use as a parent for all the, the rest of components, and let's say that all, let's say, nice geometries uh, which are actually attached to this um, robot, I will place them inside as child objects like the base wood, all of them, okay, like Bluetooth, buzzer, yeah, all of them. The ones which are fixed or related with uh, this uh, object here, okay, for instance, front wood as well, okay, uh, left angle, no, this no, uh, the servos, this servo here, it's attached to the robot too, Okay, so it's fixed with the base of the robot, and uh, let me see the right one as well, that one, yeah. And uh, the important part here will be also uh, that you will also make uh, child objects of this uh, main component, the left leg axis or joint, which is that one, so I'll drag it there and also the same thing for the right one, that one here, okay? Because these two joints will move as long as this base is moving, okay? Indeed, this, indeed these two joints will actually move this part here. This joint here, it's in charge of moving this part here, so I will drag this part inside the joint, okay? As a child object and the corresponding uh, uh, operation for the right leg, okay? So, now this uh, object here is a pure geometry object, so I need to include, as a child, all, let's say, nice objects that, or non-pure objects uh, associated or attached to this part here, which are, for instance, uh, this horn here, I have it, uh, let's see it in this, in this view. So, this horn here, will be actually moving as long as this leg it moves, also this horn here will move as well. And uh, this uh, geometry here, metal, yeah, the metal one, will be a child object too, okay? So, all, the, all of them will be uh, associated to this, uh, or related as a child objects of this leg, uh, object here. Then, what I need to do, let's switch the view again, now this joint here will move the servo and the foot, okay? So, this uh, left foot joint will actually move based on this uh, part here, so if this part rotates, this axis will rotate too, okay? And now this joint will actually move uh, this part here, the left a uh, foot cuboid, and uh, the, also the, uh, in that case, you know, the right now, that one, yeah, that's the servo, uh, let me see, right, right, okay, here we have the ankle, yeah, that's also a part that will move uh, together with that, and left foot, yeah, that one too. Okay, so all these, uh, two, these two joints will actually move the, the foot, and uh, there's one more joint here. This one is the free joint, that I, it will move also based on this part here, okay? So, this joint here will be also a child of this component here. And this part will actually move the actual rivet cylinder. Okay? 
and this will be just simply used to block uh, the component, okay? Uh, okay, so you have to do the same thing for the right leg, so this is the expected uh, hierarchy that you will need. Let me uh, solder uh, also in here. I think the rest of components are related with the right rivet. Ah, right rib, left rivet will be uh, in here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the rest of comp ah, OLED, sorry. OLED uh, will be the robot that is uh, related with the robot, and the power bank will be related with the robot too. Yeah, I think the rest of components are related with the right leg. Okay, so please uh, complete the other leg, and uh, in the next video, I will explain you how to uh, generate or simulate a sonar sensor. Thank you very much.